Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org, and today we are going to break a covalent bond. Yes, we are going to break it. But first, I'm going to explain what covalent bonds are using candy. Take a look. Here we have candy covalent bonds. What we have done is we have made two atoms of oxygen. And when an atom of oxygen and another atom of oxygen combine, they have a covalent bond. And what happens is, uh, so we have the gumdrops in the middle, eight protons, eight neutrons, and then eight electrons. Okay, so in the first shell we have two, in the second shell we have six, and the outer shell wants to have eight. And so what it does when it combines with another oxygen atom is it shares one of the electrons here and it shares one of the electrons here. So four of these are being shared in the last shell of the oxygens. This is called a covalent bond because it is sharing electrons. Ionic bonds, on the other hand, are when one electron goes from one atom to another atom, okay? So either receiving or accepting an, an, um, an electron makes it an ionic bond, okay? So this particular um, bond is a covalent bond because it's sharing. And now we are going to be breaking some covalent bonds. Oh yes, all you need is some Alka-Seltzer, those fizzy pills that you have seen, and some water. Okay, so break open the package, and the pills are pretty huge. Here you go, here you go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to be putting these into the water, and the water itself is going to break those covalent bonds and release CO2, which is carbon dioxide, which you will see in the form of bubbles. So let's zero in and go. Woohoo! Look at that go! Fizz! Okay. <clears throat> Christian Kids Explore Chemistry says the Alka-Seltzer tablet contains citric acid C6H8O7 and sodium bicarbonate NaHCO3. When the Alka-Seltzer is put into water, these ingredients dissolve and then react with each other. During the reaction, the covalent bonds are broken and carbon dioxide CO2 gas is formed and released, which is the bubbles, plus a citrate ion remains in the water. And I also asked my husband, why on earth did they put that fizzy uh, reaction into those pills? And he said, so that it agitates the water and spreads that medicine throughout the water without your having to stir it. How cool is that? I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and this was a Breaking Covalent Bonds.